the rock backstage heat reason why wwe censored smackdown worst sell wrestling news i was wondering why because i thought i was tripping i thought it was my like computer it kept blanking out but i'm like nah it's being censored but we're gonna watch this video so let's watch what is going on guys it is wrestlemania here back with another video join it's us now as we look at this me. week's edition of the blue brand as well as so the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including is a champion injured? <laughs> the Rock has backstage heat? The Rock roasts Cody again in another video? WWE had to censor SmackDown for the funniest reason. Bray Wyatt's Hall of Fame status? WWE Even superstars appearing in another promotion and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. As always, we won't recap the matches, but just look at the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. As always, we start off with the good is number one brilliant bout between Bailey and Dakota. Last night's Bailey vs. Kai match was a brilliantly like booked match that helped further the storyline of Bailey's war against the damage control and it intrigued by having Naomi run in to help bailey and gave the wwe universe a i think that bailey did good in this match because she kept her eyes on every corner and she was pretty prepared for you know the the attacks from them even though there were some moments where they caught her but yeah she seemed like she was pretty prepared for them and the things that they might pull so a hint of what still bailey unfortunate and how it in the ring. number two rock concert changes things up or was the rocks concert the great one's best performance well, we'd like to admit far from it, but it did give the WWE Universe some variety in the build-up to Cody vs. Roman Reigns, a match that is still three weeks away and the WWE needs to be careful as it wants to maintain the sizzle without giving away the steak. Next week's <laughs> confrontation between Cody and Roman should help as Roman has become far too secondary in his own storyline. Also, kudos to the WWE bringing back Hollywood Rock's theme. It just fits his persona yeah. so perfectly. Number three, Nick Aldis lays down the law again. Nick Aldis continues to show he's a man not to be trifled with, as he doesn't let the inmates run the asylum and acts like an authority figure who's not afraid to use the power given to him. Aldis no so Logan Paul's demand that Randy Orton apologize to him, telling the Maverick that it was something that he should do on his own. Later in the show, Aldis exercised his authority by booking Paul into a triple threat match against Kevin Owens and Randy Orton, a pleasant <laughs> reminder of who is running the show. In Number the four, Grayson Weller and Austin Theory aren't afraid to tread water. <laughs> Grayson Weller and Austin Theory continue to show why they're a good team player as both men serve supporting roles in Logan Paul's feud with Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Both superstars have upper card and perhaps even main event features, but they seem okay playing Stooges for now. That shouldn't be a problem as the WWE seems to have bigger things ahead for them with their feud that will likely begin after WrestleMania. And WrestleMania is taking shape on SmackDown. Last night's announcement that Logan Paul will defend the US Championship against Kevin Owens and Randy Orton was good news, as was AJ Styles accepting LA Knight's challenge with a chair tonight's back. SmackDown has been trading water in terms of building up Mania's undercard and last night was a step in the right direction. But that was good, what about the bad? Is number one, LWO losers, the brawling brutes of 2024. Is it time to scrap the LWO? The group has been weak ever since Legado del Fantasma members turned babyface and joined forces with Rey Mysterio. Now they're nothing short of pathetic as their only role is to That's jump to caring. Santos Escobar and his version of Legado del Fantasma, allowing Rey to swoop in and save the day. Having Legado stomp on LWO every week is doing nothing for the heels as it's clear that the only person who can win matches is Rey Mysterio. Sadly, the LWO is much like the brawling brutes with Rey playing Sheamus. Hopefully Papa Ray doesn't get dragged down by his teammates like the Celtic Warrior did by his team's constant losses. Number 2. Why is SmackDown <laughs> having a tournament for a six-pack challenge? Nick Aldis does many things right as SmackDown general manager, but the call to determine the blue brand's entrance in a six-pack challenge was a little puzzling. While each show has its own GM, shouldn't there be some type of uniformity in determining how teams qualify for a match? And the downright ugly. Now come on, we had to include it. What was that sell by Austin Theory? A hesitation of the jump and him just lunging forward just made it look so bad. He needs to take a page out of Randy Orton's book of smoothness. But to be fair, other than The Rock's concert, it wasn't a particularly special show. Now there's no question that WWE is enjoying an incredible surge of success, but why does it feel like the need to play things so safely when it can quickly lead to boredom? Why not shake things up with a breakout star or feud to keep fans interested in SmackDown rather than killing time until Mania? What did you guys think of the blue brand last night? Let us know in the comments down below. Now let's move on to the news. Yeah, I felt like there was some like awkwardness. I said that too in my reaction. 
And first, we looked at a champion injured. On top of today's news are concerns that SmackDown superstar Asuka may be Kinda injured. Slow. The WWE Universe is voicing its collective concern after a video surfaced well, of Asuka injured. appearing to be limping in the ring after damage control attacked Bailey during the role models match against Dakota Kai. Sports Kida noted that Asuka did not appear to be injured when she was at ringside, and it appears she may have been injured during damage controls running on Bailey. Asuka was struck and hit the Girl. mat, after which she appeared to be limping for the rest of the segment. It could have just been a damn good sell, but as of right now, there's no word on Asuka's condition, and I if mean, so, I it's another blow okay. to the blue brand following Charlotte Flair's injury. The damage control storyline has been one of SmackDown's best in recent memory, and if Asuka is hurt, hopefully the WWE can work around her injury. We'll continue following this story. Next up, The Rock roasts Cody again in another video. Well, the Rock is showing he's still got it, whether it's roasting opponents in person, on TV, or cutting videos where he, he delivers a, a verbal SmackDown <laughs> to their candy asses. The Rock recently had more fun at Cody Rhodes' expense on SmackDown when he held his Rock concert and promised to whoop Cody with his weight belt and deliver it to Cody's mother. The Rock also delivered a similar promo online, mocking Cody after the American Nightmare poured his heart out to the WWE Universe on Raw, only for The Rock to just simply say, are you effing kidding me? Are you f***ing kidding me? You start f***ing crying? You start crying? That's how you respond? No wonder all your fans are crybabies. No wonder, because they're Superman, they're hero. You start crying too. You can cry. You can cry. I can't give the belt to Dusty, but I can give it to my mama. I can give it to my mommy. <laughs> my mommy. Shut the f*** up. Give it to your mommy. The Rock has been in rare form as he's eviscerated both Cody and Seth Rollins on the microphone, setting his Hollywood Rock character to maximum heat. As entertaining as Rock segments have been, what? the WWE needs to make sure that Rock doesn't eclipse Roman Reigns when it comes to WrestleMania's boss, main event, I think and that the Rock doesn't make by. Cody and Seth look like oh. saps. Oh, Even no. if the WWE is going with the idea that the Rock this is, is setting Roman up, Rock. the promotion must protect its full-time main event players and keep this is them strong. Different... Given the recent news that the Rock is expected to be Him. out after WrestleMania and likely until SummerSlam due to his Hollywood obligations, burying three of the company's top stars while the man with the shovel is off TV doesn't seem very wise. Next up, The Rock has backstage heat. And whilst we're on the subject of this promo, it seems that some in the WWE think that The Rock has taken them a little bit too far and has reportedly rubbed some people up the wrong way, and it's due to these promos oh, being profanity-filled. Oh, now, obviously, we're in a PG era of WWE, and higher-ups in WWE have memoed talent on guidelines on TV and social media, and they are mostly banned from any profanity in their social media posts. However, most feel that this is a double standard, as why does The Rock get away with so much profanity but others have to adhere to can't. the rules? One source from SC Scoops <laughs> replied, even if he's the big movie star, shouldn't everyone play by the same rules? So no, I know that too. It does seem like, he's, over, like but... doing a, he's doing a whole lot more than what I've seen like recently, like what I've seen the other wrestlers do. Like cussing, calling people crackheads and meth heads and fucking all types of like crazy insults. But it's like, is he doing that because he he knows he can get away with it or like are they just like like letting him but yeah i noticed that too uh, everyone else is handcuffed is it fair what do you guys think let us know in the comments down below next up the wwe like, had to censor smackdown for the funniest reason for speaking of the rock did the wwe have to censor smackdown out because of the great one well, that appears to be the case as ex-account Fadeaway Media is reporting a female fan apparently flashed the camera during the Rock segment, so they had to black out the screen. It's been a while since fans have flashed oh the cameras goodness. during WWE TV. Long-time WWE fans will recall it happening during so the Attitude Era, and it's unknown whether this fan was particularly happy to see The Rock looking for their 15 minutes of fame or hoping to revive the adage, anything can happen in the WWE. Next up, Bray Wyatt's Hall of Fame status still unknown. <laughs> is the late great Bray Wyatt being inducted into this year's Hall of Fame? While it seems like many fans believe this is a good way to honor Bray's legacy, the WWE hasn't made any formal announcement, and according to Dave Meltzer, the promotion is still going over the decision. It was confirmed to us what? yesterday that with the exception of Leah Maivia, all members of the 2024 Hall of Fame class have been announced. Regarding rumors of Bray Wyatt, obviously he was on the list at one point, but it's not planned, or at least it wasn't of yesterday. The impression I was given is that he will be put in soon. Do you think Bray will be inducted this year? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, are WWE superstars appearing in another promotion? As interesting developments concerning the WWE and the promotion Game Changer Wrestling, as one WWE superstar is already booked for GCW's upcoming Bloodsport event. 
Josh Barnett of GCW tweeted, What does it mean when a queen takes up the sword and marches to war? Blood, victory, glory? From battlefields all over the world, MMA and UFC, NXT, WWE, Stardom and more, to now step into a ring she was made for from the beginning. The War Master's disciple, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, comes to Josh Barnett's Bloodsport X. At GCW's Bloodsport events are work shoots that are special variations from traditional pro wrestling matches. First, the only way to pin is by knockout or submission. Second, there's no traditional wrestling ring. Instead, competitors fight on a wrestling mat with no ropes or turnbuckles. The Bloodsport events traditionally feature pro wrestlers with MMA backgrounds, which makes Shayna Baszler a great fit. It's unknown whether this is a one-time arrangement, a test for future collaborations, or the beginning of a working relationship with GCW. However, Dave Meltzer noted in an update on Wrestling Observer Figure 4 Online that regarding Shayna Baszler at Bloodsport and other WWE talent doing indie dates that week, we're told it was Paul Levesque's decision and that Paul Levesque has a different view on things than Vince McMahon had. According to Wrestling News' Andrew Ravens, more WWE stars will be announced soon. One of the most interesting aspects of this sharing of WWE talent is what other promotions will send talent to blood sport events, especially arrivals such as AEW. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments. Alright y'all, leave some likes and comments down below. Let me know what you guys think and I will see y'all in the next one. Tutors.